explosive reaction to that disturbing Michael Jackson documentary, Leaving Neverland. It focuses on the action of abusing them when they were children, and Chris Connolly joins us now with the fallout from this devastating film. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, George. The documentary Leaving Neverland has been gathering attention ever since its first showing at the Sundance Film Festival in January. Now that it's aired on HBO, it's sparking conversation and strong opinions nationwide about the life and the legacy of the late Michael Jackson. Now comes the reaction and the battle lines being drawn in the wake of the just aired HBO documentary Leaving Neverland and its stunning, explicitly detailed chronicle of alleged child sexual abuse by Michael Jackson. Once the abuse started, and within that first week, you know, every night that I was with him, there was abuse while my mother was, you know, next door. Choreographer Wade Robson, now 36 years old, told the documentary he was seven when Jackson first abused him. James Safechuck, now 41, says he first met Jackson while shooting the soda commercial at age 10. Safechuck says after developing a friendship with the pop star, Jackson abused him again and again in secret hideaways located throughout Jackson's Neverland Ranch and in hotel rooms on tour. At the same time, the sexual relationship is growing. He's working on pushing you away from your parents, pushing you away from everybody else, and, and it feels more like, like it's just you and him. Both idolized Jackson and claimed that even as the abuse continued, Jackson befriended their unsuspecting mothers and families, paying for travel, shopping sprees, and gifts. I was really into jewelry and he would reward me with jewelry for doing sexual acts for him. Safe Chuck says Jackson even put on a mock wedding in private and gave him this ring. It has a row of diamonds with a gold band. The wedding ring. It's hard to go back to that. When Lying sexual misconduct allegations shit. surfaced against Jackson in 1993, each would testify on his behalf, saying he never molested or touched them inappropriately. Robson doing so again in 2005, prior to Jackson's acquittal on child abuse charges. They both now say they were not being truthful then, and that it was years later, after they became fathers themselves, that they decided to share their stories. Both sued the Jackson estate four years after Jackson's death. The lawsuits dismissed on technical grounds. They are appealing. Dan Reed is the director of Leaving Neverland. And I think that realization that your relationship with your abuser was not a good thing um, typically comes very late in life uh, for victims of sexual abuse. And that is that is why Wade you began You alien crack-faced piece Oprah of Winfrey shit. Bringing Safe Chuck and Robson together along with Fuck Reed Oprah. for an audience of sexual abuse survivors. Can you explain to people why you want to continue the association if you have been abused? I had no understanding of it being abuse. You know, I loved Michael. Anything that Michael did was right to me for so many years. Meanwhile, the Michael Jackson estate is fighting back in a court brief and in the court of public opinion releasing one of the entertainer's concerts on YouTube on the same night as Leaving Neverland's debut. And with a February 21st lawsuit against HBO, a statement from attorney Howard Weitzman reading in part, HBO chose to fund and produce a film where they knew the two subjects had for many years testified under oath and told family, friends, and law enforcement that Mr. Jackson did nothing inappropriate to either of them. And from the Jackson family, in part, Michael Jackson is our brother and son. Michael is not here to defend himself. Otherwise, these allegations would not have been made. That Jackson family statement going on to say, the facts don't lie, people do. Michael Jackson was and will always be 100% innocent of these false allegations. Guy? The latest raising so many questions. Okay, Chris, thanks very much. And Leaving Neverland is currently airing on HBO Go and HBO Now.